All right, one of our favorite parts of the day when we look at what's trending online. Yeah, producer Nikki Bussey is joining us. Uh, what's hot on this Wednesday night? Well, there are <laughs> some things coming out from Dr. Conrad Murray's trial, and mm -hmm. that's topping mm -hmm. Google today. Sure. It actually looks like Prince Michael Jackson is showing signs of vitiligo, guys. Now, that's the same skin disorder that his father, Michael, had experienced when he was alive. Now, Prince Michael has some spots showing up already on his body. Jermaine Jackson talked about it on Extra, saying that it was proof that the kids were actually Michael's. You know, people were talking about, you know, possibly they weren't. But mm -hmm. hmm. Jackson says he's blaming Murray for uh, Michael's death there. Jermaine is. Jermaine. Yeah. yeah. You know what I think is more interesting is that the skin disorder that we're talking about, because a lot of people didn't believe that Michael Jackson actually, actually had, had that skin disorder. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing. Yeah. You know, another part of the whole story. Yeah. Another more proof there. Now, Johnny Depp took a break from his busy filming schedule to make an apology. The Rum Diary star called it a poor choice of words when he compared being photographed to being raped in an interview mm. with Vanity Fair for its November issue. He said he doesn't like photo shoots because they make him feel dumb. And now the, the Rum Diary actually hits theaters on October 28th, and Depp also has another three pictures in the works well, he's aside very, from that. He's very reserved. Yeah, right? so it's you weird. Yeah, to... you don't, I mean, on screen, completely different persona mm -hmm. than right. what you get off screen. Right. Very reserved young mm -hmm. man. Ray Ray is a very strong Yeah, word. very serious yeah. statement yeah, 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 there. Yeah, no excuse for it, but he's just so reserved. It's mm -hmm. hard to believe. bizarre that he would cho choose that word, yeah. Yeah. And Kristen Stewart got in trouble for the same thing not too long ago. And actually, she spilled the beans once again. This time, she's let it slip that she's actually dating her co-star, <laughs> Robert Pattinson of Twilight fame. And that's just sort of now. She said she's spending more time in the UK because her boyfriend is English. And as you know, Pattinson is also English, so, you know, I don't know. That narrows it down. Narrows it down a little bit. Now, the duo has <laughs> never actually admitted to being an item, although they've been photographed together kissing and... Doing all sorts of couple things together there, so I don't know. Just come oh. out and say it. Good Everyone luck, knows. you crazy kids. They're so cute together, though. Because they're I, so, I don't know, odd. I hope they make it beyond the Twilight series. Yeah, like you know? Breaking Dawn yeah. doesn't break them up. Now, there's a new character coming to Sesame Street, and her purpose is to teach kids about poverty and hunger. Lily will join the cast this Sunday for a special show. She's going to talk about insecurity over whether her family will have enough to eat and the puppet actually goes to the pantry for food and also volunteers there. Country star Brad Paisley is going to host a special which is called Growing Hope Against Hunger. I think that's a really interesting way to yeah. teach kids. We mm -hmm. were chatting online right now mm -hmm. on our Bamboozer channel, which is on our Facebook page, but a mm -hmm. lot of people are saying it's a worthwhile cause. So. I mean, it's worth it. Kids watch yeah. it. And yeah. Sesame Street was one of those things that was on in my house growing up. And Same I mean, here. Mine too. Mm -hmm. Still looking back on it now, I mean, some of the ways that you learn how to, you know, some of the ABC, some of the ways you Counting. count, uh, mm -hmm. some of those other things, and some of those jingles and, and the mm -hmm. messages that come through stay with you, even mm -hmm. today. Yeah. Uh, Rob talks about, you know, like the vampire, the count. You can hear the Rob count. talking even doing that now. You should hear him. Yeah, see, Rob still has it. So it's, it's all, you know, <laughs> if it's done the right way, I think it will be a worthwhile Well, and yeah. a lot of celebrities consider it a huge um, point in their career to be invited to be yeah. on Sesame Street. Sure. Yeah. It's just another point, you know, of pop culture mm -hmm. that it's can help people. Yeah. Very timely, mm -hmm. you know, and a yeah. lot of families are out there hurting. Struggling. So, yeah. And they take it seriously, too, which is what you're mm -hmm. talking about. A yeah. lot of those celebrities and the big names come on there and really take it seriously, and mm -hmm. it's a good thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Nikki. Thanks, Nick. There are some nice, cool temperatures in the forecast. Uh, first alert meteorologist Rob Ellis will count. <laughs> One, two, two minutes away with the forecast after this. <laughs> that was good.